Hey guys, today we're making the softest cinnamon rolls. What I love in a cinnamon roll is a super fluffy dough. And today, I'm going to show you how to make the absolute fluffiest cinnamon rolls ever. We're going to smother these in a delicious cream cheese glaze because no cinnamon roll is perfect and complete without that cream cheese glaze. Okay, you guys, I'm going to make the dough today in my stand mixer. You can definitely make it just by hand, and I've done this dozens of times on the channel. To my bowl, I've added my flour and sugar, and I'm going to give these a quick mix before adding the liquid ingredients, which are just some warm milk, an egg, some melted butter, or you can use oil if you prefer, and the yeast. Mix these well and add these to your flour mixer. Your mixer should be on low at this point, and once the dough starts to combine put your mixer on high and let this go for around two minutes you'll notice this mixture is sticky but do not be tempted to add extra flour we want a very soft dough for these cinnamon rolls if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and click that bell I post new videos every week you're going to transfer this into a grease bowl cover it with some plastic wrap and this needs to double in size this will take anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours once the dough has risen you're going to flour your work area make sure you add enough flour otherwise when you go to form your roll it may stick to your board you want to roll this dough into a rectangular shape and add the soft butter the butter needs to be of a spreadable consistency you can take it out of the fridge the day before or I personally just like to cut it into small pieces pop it in the microwave just until it softens and mix it up with my spatula the filling is just some brown sugar some cinnamon salt and I also like to add some cornstarch which is optional but recommended I like to use it because it helps thicken the filling sprinkle this evenly onto your dough and a nice trick that I I like to do is take my rolling pin and press the sugar onto the butter so when you go to fold and roll up the dough as you can see the sugar stays in place this recipe makes around 9 to 12 rolls depending on how big you make um, the rolls <laughs> now I like to cut my cinnamon rolls with a string you just get this beautiful even cut but you can certainly use a knife Place these onto a baking sheet lined with greased parchment paper or you can just butter the tray. Cover these again and allow these rolls to rise for another 30 minutes. You're then going to bake these in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit for around 20 to 22 minutes. As soon as these come out of the oven, guys, you're going to smother these with some delicious cream cheese glaze. The recipe for this glaze will be in the description box below. It's really simple. It's just cream cheese, milk, and some sugar. It is delicious. You guys, get ready to enjoy some of the softest cinnamon rolls you'll ever have. They pull apart so easily. They're just amazing. And you know the best part of a cinnamon roll is pulling it apart in the middle that centerpiece. We run away, so let us up when we're low. 